She's standing up. Is that sick or what? <laughs> and the deal is if one falls in, the other one better jump in. Oh, yeah. Take them an hour to get over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron what? Aaron fucking water. Duh. It's kind of hard to paddle and hold your dress. <laughs> oh, hey, these guys are going to get in the way. What? Oh. <laughs> I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think it's morning. <laughs> she said we mastered it. Oh yeah, her dress is beautiful. And it will be significantly weighted at the bottom. If he one falls in, the other one has to jump. He looks jump like he's so <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the bride. Cuff pants. Let them down there, mister. There you go. I didn't fall. to share in this formal commitment they make to one another 
and to offer your love and support to this union and to allow Rob and Aaron to start their married life together surrounded by the people dearest and most important to them. So welcome to one and all who have traveled from near and far. Aaron and Rob, thank you all for your presence here today and now ask for your blessing, encouragement and lifelong support for their decision to be married. We would like to set the tone for this ceremony with the reading of a poem. Loving the Wrong Person by Andrew Boyd. We're all seeking that special person who is right for us. But if you've been through enough relationships, you begin to suspect there's no right person, just different flavors of wrong. Why is this? Because you yourself are wrong in some way, and you seek out partners who are wrong in some complementary way. But it takes a lot of living to grow fully into your own wrongness. It isn't until you finally run up against your deepest demons, your unsolvable problems, the ones that make you truly who you are, that you're ready to find a lifelong mate. Only then do you finally know what you're looking for. You're looking for the wrong person, but not just any wrong person, the right wrong person. Someone you lovingly gaze upon and think, this is the problem I want to have. Would you hand your okay to live in isolation. Their love is a source of strength which they may nourish not only each other but the world around them. And in turn, we their community of friends and family have a responsibility to this couple. By our steadfast care, respect, and love, we can support their marriage today and forevermore. Will you who are present here today surround Rob and Aaron in love, offering them the joys of your friendship and supporting them in their marriage? Please respond, we will. We will. Rob and Aaron, receive each other from your families and friends who give you into each other's keeping by now saying words to one another of love and commitment. Aaron, will you take Rob to be your husband, your constant friend and partner, and love him always? I will. Rob, will you take Aaron to be your wife, your constant friend and partner, and to love her? Always. I will. Always. Always. <laughs> <laughs> now is the time for exchange of rings. Are you going to go back on the paddleboard? No. Let's have some cupcakes. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for coming. Sorry the weather was so bad. We want to have a uh, toast and some cupcakes, and then we're going to head to uh, World Famous for some food, because I haven't had anything to eat today. <laughs> Show some love. Show some love. 